You want to live, breathe, eat, sleep Disney? <laughs> well, the Walt Disney Company is going to give you that opportunity. They announced today Story Living. You're probably asking, what is Story Living? Well, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to break it down up next. Hey everybody, welcome aboard to another episode of Orange Grove 55. So I'm going to talk about this announcement today that was actually pretty fascinating. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get the get, get everyone together, Disney Family Man 23, as well as Vash Sky, to do a future video and kind of really dive into the nitty gritty and break all of this down and go in, in depth in regards to this announcement because I do think that there's a lot here to chew on. But I wanted to kind of just drop a, a quick video today and kind of touch upon it and give you my overall thoughts on this new project announced by Disney. Okay, so Disney dropped a press release today, and this is the concept art, which, by the way, looks absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It says here, Disney launches new business to develop residential communities. It says, as more and more fans look for new ways to make Disney a bigger part of their lives, the Walt Disney Company today announced plans to introduce Story Living by Disney, Vibrant New Neighborhoods that are infused with the company's special brand of magic. These master plan communities are intended to inspire residents to foster new friendships, pursue their interest, and write the next exciting chapter in their lives, all while enjoying the, the attention to detail, un unique amenities, and special touches that are Disney hallmarks. And I'll link this down below so you guys can check this out. But there's, there's some concept art here, as you can see, and it's all pretty amazing. It all looks pretty fantastic. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So um, th this new community is actually going to be in, like it says here, in uh, California's Coachella Valley. Okay. And that is <laughs> a point of contention for a lot of fans. A lot of fans are complaining, oh, Coachella Valley, it's so hot. Oh, my God. It reaches over 100 degrees in Coachella Valley. Who would want to live there? You know, you guys, people do live in hot places, okay? They do. There's a lot of people that live in Las Vegas, which also hits the same kind of temperatures as Coachella Valley. Okay, a lot of people live in Palm Springs, which isn't that far from Coachella Valley, only about maybe 15 or 20 minutes, okay? A lot of these desert places attract a lot of people. Some people like hotter environments and you know really with modern technology believe it or not they have this new thing called air conditioning i know it's pretty it's pretty crazy but you can actually cool uh, uh rooms and buildings through this thing called air conditioning which is pretty great and irrigation you can actually pump water water to these places it's incredible it's absolutely incredible but all snark aside i really don't understand the complaint that because it's hot somehow that that, that means it's a bad location uh orlando is freaking hot very hot mixed with humidity and like you know random torrential downpours you know on paper orlando should have been like the worst place in the world to build a theme park based on that and it's doing very well i think I think it's doing very, very well. Las Vegas has temperatures very similar to the Coachella Valley where it's like 100 plus in the summer. Yet, you know, a lot of people still live in Las Vegas. A lot of people still visit Las Vegas as a tourist destination. Okay. Disney is not asking, you know, people to colonize Mars. Okay. This isn't like, it's just the desert, you guys. Okay. Yes, it's hot. Okay. Big deal. Big freaking deal. But I do think that this is a smart move. Um by Disney, because I do think there's a market uh, in this general area. You know, Palm Springs is very much a retirement community. Um, a lot of a lot of retirees go to Palm Springs and to settle down. Um, and I think this kind of resort community that Disney is is, is planning here um, could kind of be in the same vein as something like a Palm Springs. I think there's a lot of potential here for this. Um, I do think it'll be pretty successful. Look, I, I've visited 
and vacationed in Palm Springs. Well, not really vacationed. The last time I was in Palm, Palm Springs actually was due to a business trip. And it was right in the middle of summer. It was like July or August. It was hot as heck. It was really, really hot. We stayed at a really nice resort though and had a fantastic time. You know, um, it, it's nice. It's cool. You know, now I don't know. I look for me personally, I prefer the heat. Okay. I'd much rather go to a place like this than somewhere that's cold. That's just me. Everyone's got a personal preference. One person's pleasure is another person's hell, right? For me, the heat doesn't really bother me. Maybe some people it does. If the heat really bothers you, then this probably isn't for you, you know? But the, the, but the millions of people that live in the desert in Las Vegas and Palm Springs and places like that, it, this, is, this probably wouldn't be so bad for you. So it's very, very interesting. It, it offers a lot of opportunity for Disney. Um, it is kind of akin to Walt Disney's sort of like um, kind of model for Epcot. Maybe not, obviously not to that scale of ambition, but this whole idea of, of Disney buying, you know, creating these these communities where people can live, work, you know, it, it's very much akin to the old Epcot sort of model. Um, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Disney does plan, it does say in this press release, Disney is planning on expanding this concept to other parts of the country, which is fantastic. I think that's really, really cool. So overall, I think it's pretty awesome. I think this is a good location for them because of the proximity to the retirement community, um, like Palm Springs and, and, and places like that. Um, I think it'll do pretty well. I do. Hey, just, just my opinion. Just my opinion. What the hell do I know, right? <laughs> but anyway, what do you guys think about uh, story living? It, do you hate it? Do you think it's stupid? Is it stupid? If it's stupid, comment down below. If it's awesome, comment down below. Hey, or if you're in the middle and you don't really know what to think of it, comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching this episode of OG55. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful day.